Greetings and welcome back to the Galley of the Sun. Here we are again at our favorite butcher shop, Trobs, and uh, Chad has uh, made us up some incredible Thor's hammers. So, tell me about this cow, Chad. What, where'd this come from? So this is uh, from our ranch, Broken Box Ranch, mm -hmm. up in uh, Duncan, Arizona. Uh, and these are Thor's hammers. So if you look here, this one's from your front leg. Uh -huh. You know, they're a little bit taller. Um, and these are from the rear leg where the bone's just a little bit bigger. Yeah. You know, different shape, but tends to have a, a little bit more meat all the way around the bone. Where you can see on the front legs, you kind of have a bare spot. Yeah. But you're going to get about the same amount of meat on each one. And with the marrow oh. inside the... The horse hammer there, that's a, a lot of flavor, a lot of taste, a lot of stuff. So we will not waste that a bit. I, I was going to tell you, try to make sure you capture that. You know, I was, I was watching some videos doing some, uh, some research on this, and I almost cried when I saw people just take that and set it right in their smoker without a pan underneath it at all. Yeah. And lose that stuff. We yeah. will not do that. And what, I, <laughs> what I tend to do sometimes is take the baking pans mm -hmm. and um, I'll finish it off. So I'll get it about halfway. Yeah. And before I started losing that, that marrow, I'll put it in. The one last time I did it, I did it with uh, um, garlic butter and thyme. Ooh, that and sounds good. And finished it off that way. So well, we got four, sure so we can do some different ways. Yeah. 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 yeah, for sure. All righty. Well, let's get these back home and get them cooking. We'll see you there. Here we are on the day of the hammer. It's hammer time. Hammer time. Luckily, Chad was able to find us a five-legged cow because I, I didn't think uh, four Thor's hammers was gonna be enough for today's crowd. So uh, we're gonna cook these two different ways, but they're all gonna start out the same way. So let's get these unwrapped and see what we have. Alrighty, look at those glorious hunks of meat. Uh, as you saw, the Yoder YS 640 pellet grill is already set to 250 degrees. Now the prep on these is pretty easy. Let's get it together. First of all, I'm going to put them all in this pan because as our favorite orphan Annie once said, to marrow, to marrow, I love you, to marrow, you're only a bone away. Did she say that? She did. And we don't want to lose any of that marrow. So we're going to put them into this pan. From here, it's very easy. I'm going to spray each one of them with some avocado oil as a binder. And then we're going to apply a rub. And we're using one of our favorites, Cattleman's Grill Roadhouse. And we're going to go medium heavy with this rub because we want a good bark. Oh, and don't worry, I'll get the bottoms from the stuff that fell down. We'll stamp them down and uh, get the bottom covered too. Now, we do want a good bark, but we don't want it to be too tough. So, about every 45 minutes, we're going to go out there and spritz it. And we're going to spritz it with a mixture of water and Modelo's. Beer! You could use water and vinegar. You could use beef broth. Uh, plenty of things you can use. I just like uh, the water and the beer. All right, let's get these out to the smoker and let the magic start to happen. We'll see you there. All righty, one thing I forgot to mention in there was getting some foil and wrapping the bones up so they look good for presentation at the end. With aluminum foil. Foil. Now, we just put them in the smoker. When we come out here to spritz them every 45 minutes, we will rotate them around to make sure they're all good to go and getting even cooking, but uh, yeah. Nothing to do for the next 45 minutes. We'll see you then. All 
All right, we're about 45 minutes in. I checked the temperature on them. We started out at 42 degrees on all of them. Now they're ranging between 59 to 62, so I don't feel like I need to rotate them right now, but it is time to spritz. All right, give them another 45 and check them again. We'll see you then. So now we're at the hour and a half point and the temperature was ranging from 81 to 98. So I took the pan and rotated it. That's also going to help us with the spritzing to make sure we get all sides. It's sort of hard to get the back side there uh, as much room as it's taken up in the smoker. So let's uh, get them spritzed and take a look. I'm starting to see some marrow come out. They're starting to get browned up. This is going to be incredible. We'll see you again in about 45 minutes. We are two hours and 15 minutes into the smoke. Temperatures are ranging between 102 and 119. So they're starting to even out a little bit more. I'm going to leave them like they are right now but uh, it's time to spritz again, so let's give them a look. Ah, oh, you can see more of that marrow coming out. Uh, so many videos I've seen people making Thor's hammers and doing the Thor's hammers straight on their grill and losing that marrow. It's a crime. Blasphemy. It's a crime. We are now at the three hour point. The temperature is 123 to 132. So I've moved the pan again. Time to give it another spritz and see how we're looking. Oh, it is looking good. Good, it is looking. All right, so I'll tell you what, I did get nervous because the kids got to fly out today and I want to make sure I get this served to them before they go. The stall happened at 140, which I'm used to with chuck and with brisket, about 165. But we just cleared it, so it's ready to remove these from the smoker. They've got plenty of smoke flavor. They've been out here for about five hours in the smoke. It's time to shift to the braising. So we're going to spritz them one more time, yank them out, get them inside, and we'll do some stuff in there. We'll see you then. All right, so as best I can tell, we're past the stall, so it's time to get these ready. I'm going to do it in two different ways. First of all, in this pan, I have a bunch of onions and peppers cut up. You saw it earlier. So to that, I'm going to add some of Spiceology's Vampire Killer seasoning to that because, yeah, why would you not? To that, we're going to add about a cup of beef broth. To that, we're going to add one Bandello's beer. And I'm going to take two of my Thor's hammers and put them in this. Now, at this point, they're going to be covered in foil, so I can remove the foil off the bone. Sounds dirty, but it's not. Ah, and our bones are pretty, pretty. So, I'm going to set these just right in that mixture. Oh, and I've lost some marrow. That was a crime. Oh, no! We suck again! So, I'm going to be more careful with the second one. Let's see, that is... That is a front leg. We'll do one front leg and one back leg with that one, just so we get an even mixture. Logical. All right, being more careful with the marrow this time. There we go. All right, then I'm gonna cover this with foil. It's gonna go back on the smoker. Everything from here on out on the smoker is gonna be covered in foil, so it's not sexy. So we're done shooting outside. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside. Oh, wait a second, I got some Kerrygold butter here. And I'm going to put that in there. All right, second pan. The rest of the Kerrygold butter. Only the finest stuff here at the Galley of the Sun. Now we're going to get the foil off of our bone. It sounds dirty, but it's not. It's not as dirty as it sounds, really. Uh, if you say so. We're going to bring this over here. And then we're going to get some Wagyu beef tallow and rub this puppy down. Got a good handful there. Not disturbing, that bark is set. We are good to go. 
All right, lay that down. Let's see, I need to figure out how to do this without losing any marrow. We're gonna do the same to the other two, and then we're gonna get this covered in foil. Everything's going back on the smoker. Now, um, at this point, it's brazing. It's not taking smoke anymore. I can bump the temperature up to 300 degrees to get these done a little quicker. That's what we're gonna do. And uh, once that's done, we're coming back inside, we're shredding, and then we're gonna get some judgment. We'll see you then. All right, seven and a half hours later, we are ready to get these puppies shredded. So you can see in the pan here. No, we can't. The marrow and the juice, we're gonna shred right into that. So let's grab the first one. Make sure we get the strings off. Oh yeah, and it's shredding nice and easy. I think we have success. But we'll find out when we get judged. Got a clean bone. Get as much of that marrow out as we can. <laughs> oh, damn. All right, it's all shredded. Now we're gonna get some judgment from Greg. All right, this one here is just uh, beef tallow, the bone marrow. This one here has beer, onions, peppers, and butter in it. So let me know how it is and if one's better than the other. And yeah, it looks like I, uh, I put a grenade in this thing and yeah. I like the texture. Okay, good texture. Yep. Oh, really good. Um, I think depending on how you want it mm -hmm. will be your choice. I mean, okay. Um, that there you go. If yeah. you want to put barbecue sauce on it, this is the way to go. But uh, the onions, the peppers, the beer, if you don't want to use barbecue sauce, to me, that's the way you would go. Yeah. So, all right, there you go. Hey, thank you so much, Chad, from uh, Traub's Butcher Shop for doing this specialty cut for us. Uh, we love you guys. And uh, until we see you next time, fair winds and following seas. Mm -hmm.